I'm just going to hang out with Seductive Alien for a hot minute. Maybe take a couple selfies and uh, have a good time. Really? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! wipe my lens hang tight all right it is Thursday it is May 2nd I am solo today Joss is doing her crazy lamp lady thing out with Sue and I'm on my way to West Virginia to go hang out with Rob um, taking two mine labs with me today taking the Equinox 800 and the e-track both running Patriot headphones um, I have the quarter inch plug in for the e-track and I've got the Knox plug in for the Knox. So we're off. Rob said it is a 1700s house. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what we're going to get into or not get into. Um, usually the ones that you expect to pay off a lot are the ones that don't. <laughs> so you never know. I mean, hey, we, we could get there and it could be like coin frenzy fest 2019 I don't know um, but we're gonna give it a shot so see you on the first dig and I will see you in a little while it's about an hour and a half drive see you in a little bit So I made it, I'm out here in the front yard, uh, Rob is over there, he's already gotten two um, Sharps shell casings out of the front part of the yard where we're working our way towards, but uh, I just thought I'd stop and take a moment to introduce you to a friend of mine, and uh, he's just kind of hanging out here, he's all uh, seductive looking and stuff, um, this is Seductive Alien, and uh, he was just letting me know that there's there's some relics and coins out here somewhere. I just got to go looking for them, but yeah. So I'm just gonna hang out with Seductive Alien for a hot minute. Maybe take a couple selfies and uh, have a good time. So, but I'll let you know if I dig anything good. See you on the first one. Back in a bit. Well, hello, Rob. Hello there. Daddy, would you like some sausage? Sausage. What you got? It's got me a fired bullet. Oh, you got a fired? Yeah, you do. That bad boy. Yeah, I see some rings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. See two, maybe three. Yeah. There goes my phone ringing. I must answer the phone. It's probably important. Jocelyn can't find the scissors. Catch in a bit. All right, so I'm away from the front of the yard. Um, we are like, this is this place is massive. We were all the way up by the road. House is all the way down there. I'm in this little grove of trees here. I don't think much has changed in this little spot because of the rock. So I'm gonna work this area a little bit. There has been ground manipulation on the property. Um, running the E-Track today. This is the first cool, old, good target I've gotten all day. But I'll take it. It's a chunk of Croto Bell. Hell yeah! Rob's kicking my butt, by the way. Two wheat pennies, two Spencer casings, and a fire three ringer. Just kicking my butt. And all I got is this little curdle bell. But that's alright. We're digging stuff. It's good. It's warm. It's sunny. It's beautiful. And I'll catch you on the next one. See you in a bit. Alright, so I worked over a little bit. I worked down a little bit. I came back. And right here I dug the Crotal Bell, right there. And right here I've got the top of the bell. Maybe if I keep going I'll find some more pieces to it. So that means that whole bell is uh, shattered around here in this little area. So, kind of cool. Maybe I'll find the rest of it. Hope I do. Or some buttons or coins or something. I'll take it. Cool. 
See you on the next one. I am done complaining about the cold. These gnats are driving me nuts. It's warm out. I'm sweating like a bugger. Um, I'm in the very front yard of the house now. The house was built in 1763. And if you take a peek back there, you can still see the old stone structure. That blue is add-on, but the original house is right there. Um, got a cool target here. It's not as old as the house, but it's a it's a pin. I'm going to have to clean this up. Um, you can see an eagle and the starburst up top there. It is a pin. There's the attachment on the back. Um, it's probably some sort of World War II service member's pin. Um, I'll clean it up, see what I can get off of it, maybe try to get a date range. Don't know. But uh, it was down, down pretty, yeah, maybe about six inches or so. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this, is, this is a pretty nice yard. This is very well manicured. Um, you can hear the landscaper off there and another guy's out mowing. I mean, this place is just massive, stunning, gorgeous. So, all right, well, I'm going to get back to it. This is the coolest thing so far today for me other than the Curdle Bell. A um, bunch of clad and a uh, whole lot of sweating going on. It's awful. So, can't wait to get in the AC in the car and drive home about an hour and a half. It'll be a nice relaxing ride. But uh, still got a little while to go. And we're going to keep at it and we're going to find some stuff. So, stay tuned. See you on the next one. So Rob has been really kicking my butt. Um, I know he's gotten a tom back button and a really nice ladies like sash belt buckle. Um, really cool. I just got, I'm not sure if it's a uh, like a livestock tag or a picker's check or what, but it's got an 81 stamped into it or maybe 18, who knows. But uh, I'll clean it up when I get home. Some sort of tag. It's pretty cool. Sounded sweet on the machine, though, that's for sure. So I'll take it. All right. Catch you on the next one. See you in a bit. All right. Time to wrap it up. Call it a day and keep driving back home. Got about an hour and a half drive back to South Central PA from West Virginia. We were joined later in the day by Mr. Logan and his very prestigious Ace 300. How'd you do, Logan? You did good? Did you have fun? That's all that matters. How'd you do, Rob? Did you have fun? I did. I did. Yeah. Did alright? Did, right. did alright? Right. Yeah, I think you did alright. Right. Definitely smoked me today. Right. This is cool. This little pot metal bird. A couple weedies. You said this one was what, 1918? Yeah. 1934, yeah, yeah. Got a nice tomback button. Got some lead scraps. <laughs> Dude, the clad dime that's been destroyed to no end. We thought it was something. Oh, special. I can definitely see the rosy head on it now too. Oh, that's awful. Um, so yeah, so some scrap lead. This is cool. This lady's little sash buckle. I like that. That's cool. Man, you killed me on Civil War relics today. A couple carbine casings. Fired three ringer, dropped three ringer. We got some sort of melted something or other. This looks like a J hook rivet. I found a couple things, nothing spectacular. I wound up finding like three pieces of that Crotal Bell. Um, there's the World War II era. Looks, that's what it looks like. Great seal. It's a pin. We'll clean it up and see how cool it looks. Then we got, uh, I found Justin. Huh? I found Justin. Justin was missing and now Justin has been found. I don't know what Justin was. I think it's probably something off of some jeans or something. Mom, Justin, where are you? I'm right here on the back of Rob's truck. <laughs> we got some sort of check tag. Picker's tag, stock cattle tag, I don't know. It's cool though. I'll take it. So, all in all, it was a good day. Yeah, this is the back side of that house. It's like it says 1873, I believe. 1790 or 1760. 1763, that's what it was. 1763. So this is the back side of it. We were kinda of, and he's just hanging out on top of the truck. Huh? Huh? What? Can you squeal like that again? 
Yes. <laughs> a lot of ground to cover out here, Rob. I don't think you can cover all this ground in a lifetime. No. And I still have property over there that I haven't covered. That would be the direction of the cave that I almost died in in Jocelyn's video. It's over that way somewhere, like next property over. So, all right, until next time, enjoy yourself. Get out, have a good time. Doesn't matter what machine you use, just get out, enjoy yourself, and find your treasure. Catch you on the next one. See you soon. Bye. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs>